za kuku za mbwa peaceful elections this is what many kenyans are yearning for and as we approach another general election in not more than seven months to come many groups and organizations including the government are doing something that is in line to embracing peaceful free and fair elections come march next year <laughs> At Michanganyiko Social Hall in Kibra constituency, different youths representing different political parties were brought together to sit, talk, discuss, share, drink, and even eat together, courtesy of Interparty Youth Forum that was sponsored by NDI alongside USAID. They termed it civic education with a view to having a common understanding across the political divide. We are here to bring all the youths who, are, who belong to different parties in this region of Kibra, so that we may sit together and, and reason together as, as people who are belonging to different political parties yeah, on the issues that are touching the youths of this country. Members of the IPYF took their considerable time to review some chapters of the Constitution with the youth, including Chapter 4, Bills of Rights, and Article 37 on the rights to peaceful assembly and demonstration, freedom of peaceful speech, and also Article 38 on the political rights. The youth engage their facilitators with a lot of questions and concern regarding the new system of government where senators and governors were introduced in the new constitution. Since this place experienced violence during the last election and, and uh, it has been it is a cosmopolitan area so we wanted to start by this area so that we may see and, and, and understand the challenges which are facing the youth in this country. Who has an idea? And after a long day of open discussion, the youths were led to watch a video with images of the 207-208 post-election violence. And the only two words I could read from their faces were, never again. I believe uh, this forum was well timed and, and, and the, the, the kind of issues that we are talking about are issues that actually affect the youth. And it's not just about uh, the social understanding of the youth, but also looking at the issues that uh, are in the heads or in the minds of the youth politically. They were also encouraged to read, understand and practice the constitution. Our expectation is that all the youths, are, are maybe initially when we are coming out of this place, that all the youths to speak in one voice, to have tolerance with one another, irrespective of their party affiliation, and also they should understand what is in the constitution as uh, the things that pertain to the youth. Winner Joshua for Kenan in Kibera.